Hi, I'm Sarah Swan and I love trying to do videos to help people and today's video is about how to cope with loneliness. We know that during this time we we all have been experiencing loneliness. Some of us have more than others, some less than others and um, due to the isolation which is in some places starting to lift. Um, we'll see what happens in the future or not. But anyway, I thought I would do a video for those that are experiencing loneliness. Um, so, yes, we can do Zoom videos and we we are lucky to have the technology, um, text message, Facebook, all that stuff to stay connected. But sometimes the physical connection can be really hard when you're used to it. Um, and it affects us, especially those that are extrovert and want to go out. Um, I'm definitely more extrovert, although I can be introvert. Um, yeah, and, and it does affect us. So anyway, I wanted to talk about that and give you some tips. So some of the thing is it's a need. You know, you have a need for connection and we're social characters or social people and um, we, we're animals essentially, right? And we're part of a community, we're part of a social group and we need that connection. And then all of a sudden one day it was just like taken away from us. And so it's hard because you're like, okay, how do I get this? You know, and some people will go and watch TV and that helps with the connection or going on Facebook, whatever. Um, but it's a connection need. Um, your brain, when it's missing a need, tries to fill it the best way possible in the most efficient way possible. It may not necessarily be the best way. So um, what I mean is it's kind of like a faucet. So you could have a faucet and if it's, dripping into your bucket. It's fulfilling your need, but very slowly and it takes forever. Versus if you're uh, turning on the faucet completely, you can fulfill your need in maybe an hour. You know, it could fill that bucket super fast and, and then you could feel fulfilled. So the idea is that you want to try to fulfill that need, um, not the most efficient way, but like maybe think about it and be like, well, what's the best way for me and what would get that need filled rather than um, doing the drip, 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 you want to do more of the open faucet. Um, the other thing is um, in relation to mean, uh, meaning uh, that we give it. So loneliness can mean, so we are living in the present, but we all have our past experiences that kind of come up. So in the past, if you gave meaning to something where like you were alone from other people and you gave it a meaning as I'm not lovable, or I'm not worthy of attention, or I'm not worthy of this or that, you're giving it a meaning. And that meaning is what makes the suffering and what makes that loneliness way worse. So think about it, you know, what meaning are you giving it? And then when you can figure out what meaning it is, you can kind of like work with it. And the idea is that you um, give the meaning, but then you, um, you kind of go back and be like, you know what? It's just happening. It's just an event. Um, rather than rather than being more than it, it's the story that we tell it, right? So uh, the idea is that you kind of just look at it as just being an event. You know, it just is. That's the only way I can describe it. It just is, um, and that kind of helps you kind of change that meaning um, and change your suffering or how you feel loneliness around it. But anyway, <laughs> let's go into some tips. So I have five to six-ish kind of tips for you today. So um, one is because if you really, really can't get out um, and you're afraid of the virus or you just can't get out and whatever, right? So one of them is, you know, to call up a friend you, video chat does kind of work. Um, connect with them. Um, even call up someone you haven't talked to in a while. Maybe someone that you're friends with five years ago, ten years ago. Find them on Facebook and then maybe contact them and be like, hey, you want to like phone call? Um, and hearing their voice and doing a video chat I think is a lot better than text message. Because text message you can take it a different way and it's kind of impersonal. And same with email and so on. So, I mean, yes, there are ways to connect, but I do think that face, 
um, doing more of like a video and a phone call, um, it allows you to hear the voice and see the behavior, especially for video. And it gives you that closer to that actual connection need. So that's one idea. Um, tip number two is I often go to Facebook groups and this is using actual just, you know, Facebook, but I often go to the groups and sometimes I'll write a post um, and I'll, I'll talk with people on, on the post with whatever idea it is. Um, I normally join groups that, you know, they're about self-help. So I'll go on the group and I'll try to help people. Um, and I'll sometimes give them praise. I'll give them advice if they want advice. And I find that that kind of helps fulfill that need a little bit, this need for connection. Uh, number two, so you can take a walk. Um, and go outside and kind of observe other people rather than like watching a TV show because that's more of a, that's more of the drip 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 rather than actually doing more of the the faucet right so if you go out and even I mean obviously these are not fulfilling your need as much as what it could but at least you're coming up with a plan or action that helps you get towards there um, but take a walk go observe people. What I do sometimes is I literally observe people and I try to see how they're feeling or what they're doing and, and I make up stories sometimes about what they're doing. Um, and um, it kind of helps you kind of like connect more to them. And um, yeah, so you totally do that. Take a walk. Sometimes just being in nature too kind of helps you. I know that's not like a connection need, but it kind of... Um, helps you connect to nature, which connects you to the whole world and um, reminds you that we're kind of one with each other, sort of. So you can do that. Um, sorry, I have my notes down there. So um, that goes into the fourth point is that, remember, we're all connected with each other. I mean, if you believe in a higher source or a higher self or spirituality or whatever, um, I think even as a science level, we're all connected. We all influence each other. And so when you start seeing it in that way and how we influence each other and how we come into each other's lives and we kind of help each other grow and so on, um, when you see it that way, you start seeing that we're all connected. It's kind of like the cell in our hands, right? So you have a cell on the, the left hand. You have a cell on the right hand. Well, it seems like the cell here is so different than this cell but it's one organism. So when you start viewing it like that kind of way, like we're one organism, you're one person on this earth, but we're all on the earth together. Or we have one earth, but it's part of a solar system. That solar system, one solar system, and so on. And so when you start seeing it that kind of way that we're all universally connected, it kind of helps you feel, oh, I'm not alone. I've never been alone. There's other people. Um, and it's also like, I've gone on Facebook. I've gone on YouTube. I've talked to people and I found out their experiences. I started listening to them. And by doing that, it helps you feel more connected, especially when I was going through this. I'm still going through trying to find a better, you know, I lost all my jobs. So um, for a while, I would go on um, Facebook or I would go on YouTube and I would look up videos about other people that went through a similar story as me. And it made me feel more connected. It made me feel like I'm not alone. And so you can do the same thing with the loneliness. Um, just go and find connections, find people that are similar to you, even make new friends. And it kind of helps um, with this loneliness. Um, number five, so you can do something for someone, maybe do them a favor help them like look at them and see if there's a need that they need or if they need something or sorry so like um do them a favor like you know something that kind of like helps them in some way you know you see that they're struggling with something for example the best example i can come up with like facebook you see someone posting something and they're worried about something well you could come up with a solution to kind of help them and when you do that you're kind of giving them something. It's kind of like the same point that I made about going on Facebook and joining a group and maybe giving advice or responding to them or sharing your story. And so you're fulfilling a need. You're helping them. And by helping them, you're also helping yourself. So number six. So I did say six, right? So <laughs> number six, another thing to help with this uh, loneliness is 
this idea of exercise and eating healthy so taking care of your body um, but definitely activity because um, when you do activity it helps um, your happiness kind of comes like uh, endorphins your it raises your endorphins which raises your happiness level and as you raise your happiness level it helps with loneliness so do something that you enjoy do activities um, you can do sports you can do something like active um, for me rollerblading walking just walking sometimes um, do something also that you're passionate about like if you like crafts if you like music play I play ukulele and it's it's helping with that like if I feel upset or something I will play with my ukulele. It helps you kind of be present. Um, or I'll do artwork. So whatever you like. If you like fixing your car, fix your car. You know, <laughs> if you like, I don't know what you like. Um, but do something that kind of gives you um, um for life. And, and that helps you kind of uh, cope with that loneliness. And um, it makes you kind of feel better. So um, it resets your mind, basically. It resets it so you can become more present. And as you become more present, you calm down, and then you're able to kind of, um, yeah, you're kind of able to kind of cope with that loneliness a little bit better. So I hope these tips have helped. If these videos have helped, please like and please subscribe and share. So anyway, thank you, and um, yeah, I hope this helped. Thanks.